Tom, I'm going to show you what we're up to today. We're making timing covers. And it's a two-piece timing cover. And it comes as a raw casting. This is a raw casting. It's been dressed up with the sander a little bit, the bee bird. But they need to be turned into a cover that you can bolt on your engine. So we need an accurate bolt pattern. We need an accurate seal hole. And then we'll also machine the back side of the cover too. So some of the holes, all the holes are drilled, the same size. Some of them are counter board, some of them are counter sunk. You can see the tapered holes, and that has to be an exact seal board diameter. So the way we do them, we take a jig that holds three at a time, and we've cut the uh, outside parameter of our, or the design of the part into a block of aluminum. The part will actually sit down in there tightly. And then we get clamped in there. It's a little process. You don't want to get your fingers. Make sure they're clamped in nice and tight. So we test it and see that clamp's not clamping. This one is clamped. So we set that one and I'll come over here and throw a few shims into it. Just see if we can get you clamped in. There we go. So we'll throw a shim in it. Well, I don't need that much shim. Each one is different. Nice bite on it. And we do the same thing for all of them. We can't hold them tight. They're going to move while we're machining. That that is terrible. cover is slightly different. Here's that shim. I'm going to grab another shim up here. Folded in there tight. So we're going to have a number of tools. This is this is a representation of the last set that I've done. It shows you all the movements that it did, all the, the bolt holes and retractions, the boring, and of all three parts. So now I'm going to turn the water off now a little bit. So we're not going to get sprayed by it. Got to have some tools. so much to be sprayed by. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing it's going to do is spot drill all these little holes. You can see the speed and accuracy of the machine. Uh, this is a really nice machine for doing six cylinder work. So this is the same process you would use on a piece of metal if you're using a center punch. Now it's going to change tools. Come back and drill all the same holes. So the holes it's drilling are over a quarter inch deep. It 
the aluminum we're using is it's cast. It's a T. It's, it's actually not T356, but it is 356 alloy. It's not heat treated. Though. So you can see the machine moves quickly from part to part or pull to hole. It's moving at a rapid speed of 800 inches per minute. The machine has the capability of doing 1300 inches per minute. Rapid. So we don't run it at full speed. It's kind of scary doing that. It is 25 horsepower, it holds 24 tools. It can also go up to 10,000 RPM. Okay, after this, it's going to change tools and it's going to come back and bore these holes. That's a rough cut hole, and then it'll come back and do a final cut. Cut all the way around. Normally we'll have the coolant run wide open, you won't be able to see any of this machine work getting done. The main reason for the coolant to go wide open is you'll see the chips piling up in there, it gets rid of all the chips. For no recutting of the cut parts. Now it's cutting the bottom of the below the seal, just a rough bore area. That creates the lift that the seal stops on. Yeah. Now we 
change over the counter sink. It's a single blade cutter. It's going to come in and chamfer these holes. It doesn't waste much time. Change tools. Go to the counter board. It's an end mill. We use it as a counter board. It's going to come in and just create a little bolt hole location for that bolt to come down and spot in. So it's, it's interpolating a hole, I suppose they would use the term, about 20, 25,000 feet. done making these parts. It brings them out so I can bring them out and get them out of the machine. So just to give an example, we, we make these in batches. So here we have a batch and there's a quantity of 55 of them. So we do these in batches and we also make the spacers. So this is the spacer that the timing cover fits on, the plate. Also done in the CNC with the jig, same way. So these two parts will bolt together, line up, and they'll be able to bolt on your engine. We'll send these out, some of them will get polished, some of them don't. So this is the part. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you everybody. Bye.